Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we are going to discuss file classification and case classifications in any before. File classification allows you to capture general information about your files, for example, interviewer, date, and location. They are used for storing bibliographic information about your files. Case classification, on the other side, are case-wise classification. A case is considered as a person, and it defines attributes for age and occupation. Let's see how we can do this in NVO. I already explained you how to import the data in the environment of NVO in my previous videos. Now I want to activate the file classification. So for this purpose, I'll go here, I'll do the right click, I'll activate the new classification and I'll say interview. Click OK. As soon as I click on OK, the interview will appear here and you can see here. At present, there is nothing here. Participant 1, 2, 3 are not displayed here. So I'll go here in interviews, I'll do select all of them, I'll right click and I'll say color classification and I'll activate interview. As soon as I do this, I am in the position to see participant 1, 2 and 3 in this. Can you see this? Now I want to uh, assign the attributes or rather the interviewer to this participant 1, 2 and 3. So for this purpose, I'll select one of them, right click and I'll go in new attribute. I'll give the name as interviewer. Inter viewer. I'll go in values and I'll assign the name of the name of the person who has taken the interview. So add John add Michelle add Daniel. Click OK. Now when I expand this, you'll you are in the position to see all of them. Once this is done, you will have to go in interviews, you will have to select participant 1, right click and you will have to activate the document properties. You will go in attributes, now you can assign the person in front of this interviewer that for the participant 1, the interview was taken by John, click OK. For participant 2, the interview was taken by, again go in document pro properties, attribute values and the interview was taken by Miss Helen. You can also specify the location, date, time here. Click OK. Go in participant 3. Again, you can activate document properties and attribute values. And you can again say Daniel. Click OK. So this is the first method of assigning the attributes to the, pa to the participant. Now I'll show you the another method of assigning the attributes to the files. By pressing Ctrl Z, I have first of all removed all the attributes which are, which, are, which are assigned to participant 1, 2 and 3. For this purpose, I will go into the file classification and in that I will say interview. And from here, I can very readily assign the names as John, Michelle, Michelle and Daniel. So this is another way of assigning the attributes to the participant. So at present, we have understood that how to do the file classification in NVivo. But how to do the case classification? For this purpose, again, do the right click, go in classification. And this time, instead of new file classification, you will have to go in new case classification. A window will appear. And in this window, you will write down demographic details. Demographic details. And just see what happens here in case classification. Click. OK. And immediately the demographic details will appear here. Just click here and you will be able to see the demographic details. Now this time again from here you go and click on this right click and new attribute. Now you will say in case classification you should be basically there in the case classification and now you will say new attribute. A window will appear and in this you will say gender. You will have to give the values here and in this values you will be giving you will be assigning as male and female so add male add female click ok now as soon as you have assigned case classification to your data 
this will be very you can see this uh, thing very easily from case classification in this expand this and you'll be able to see gender you can also assign other attributes here but for this purpose you will have to go in case classification make sure that you are in the case classification you right click and you make new attribute now here again add new uh, attribute which you want to click uh, the new attribute is occupation now this time you want to give go in values and you want to assign you want to say that the occupation is these are professionals and self-employed and and salaried person and click on okay now for assigning the attributes to your data you can directly go in case classification click on demographic details and one by one you can start assigning that your first participant is male second is your professional self-employed you can select it from here again female self-employed male salaried so this is the way you can assign uh, you can do the file classification and case classification in nvivo uh, kindly subscribe my channel you can also follow me on linkedin and twitter thank you